We all know what a speaker looks like and how simple they appear to be, how easy they are to use, but we seldom give them a second thought. When you use a speaker, many interesting things happen. That was certainly interesting. But before we jump into speaker technology, we might start with the fact that all sounds come from vibrations. Those are good vibrations. Here we have a guitar. When you pluck a guitar string, you can see the vibrations. Of course, you can't see the sound waves, but we do know what they are like. Sound waves are waves of pressure traveling through the air. Today, in the 1960s, we use modern speaker technology in many important places, like a theater. A speaker pushes sound waves toward the audience. But what about those audience members in the back? They are not getting the full sound experience. Other issues include interference caused by waves overlapping or reflecting off solid objects. But that's the price we pay for living in the modern world. But our journey doesn't have to end here. The world of tomorrow is full of possibilities. Imagine what the future holds for us. In the future, you can imagine a world where speakers could be smaller, more compact, with lifelike intensity, and able to cover the range of human hearing, all directed uniquely at a small slice of the audience for maximum clarity. We might one day call that an array of speakers. How wonderful it would be if everyone throughout a venue, from the front row to the very back, could get clear sound delivered directly to them. This future sounds amazing. <laughs>